Hello everyone, welcome to Art Around House. I am Kala Ponnuri. In today's video, we are going to make home decor using these empty card boxes. So, before that, let's see the materials required. Take any cardboard box, preferably a square one. Cut the extra cardboard pieces on all the rims. Here I am using empty detergent box. You can choose any cardboard box but make sure that the cardboard should be hard enough to hold some weight. Just check whether the edges of the lid and the box fall in the same line. If it is more, cut that extra cardboard. Now close the lid and seal the edges using masking tape. Add little plaster of Paris in acrylic paint and make sure there are no lumps while mixing it. By adding POP to the paint, we don't have to use any other base coat and we can directly apply the paint on the box. Also, it gives a nice texture finish once the paint dries up. After applying the paint with the brush, dab with a sponge all over. By doing this, the strokes of the brush won't be seen and also it gives an even finish to the paint. After the paint gets completely dried, just check whether the print on the box is seen. If yes, then it needs another coat. So repeat the same process of painting. So this is the finish after the second coat. I hope you can see the difference from first coat and second coat clearly. After the second coat, if the print on the box is still visible, it needs another coat. If you feel it's not necessary, you can skip the third coat. Apply Fevicol along the masking tape. Sprinkle small golden beads over Fevicol. Tilt the box in such a way that the extra beads just fall off. Placing a cloth underneath before sprinkling the beads makes your job easy for collecting the beads and using them again. Do the same on all four sides. So this is how the top edges of the box look now. Once the glue is dry, it becomes transparent. To beautify further, you can use any old earrings which you are not using anymore and some sequins or whatever material available in your local craft store. Now make a design using Fevicryl 3D Outliner. To give antique finish to the white design which is bright Take very little brown paint on your finger, make it thin with water and just smear it on white paint. But before doing this, be sure that the white paint should be completely dry.
if you don't have any old earrings just look around the house and you will find other on toes yes here i found these small plastic lids which we can use to decorate the box if you don't find any plastic lids still have another option of using cardboard with this try making different shapes also to get more thickness you can join two cardboard shapes paint it with acrylic color and make a design on that give antique finish like how we did before now you may stick this on the box so you have three options one is cardboard and second is old earrings and the third is plastic lid i hope i have given enough options the last step is applying varnish on the box this makes the box waterproof and kind of scratch proof Here I am using Aquadure water-based varnish of Asian Paints. To make the varnish thin, you can add little water, mix well, and apply on the box. If needed, apply two coats of varnish, but remember to keep a gap of minimum half an hour between two coats. apply varnish on beads also the advantages are beads will not turn dark also they don't fall off so this is how we can upcycle these card boxes into a beautiful home decor shall we see how we can display this So this is how you can use these boxes in decorating your houses. And here I stacked two three boxes together to make a taller stand. This stand you can use either to keep some uh, decorative artifacts or to keep some plants. So this is what Art Around House is all about. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you.